Welcome back to the Crypto Gorilla YouTube channel. It's the end of the week where we cover all these stories surrounding brands entering the space, as well as VC investments into all things crypto and Web3. If you enjoy this kind of content, subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that like button as there is a direct correlation between the amount of likes this video gets and the return of the bull market. Now, while cryptocurrencies like Ethereum and Bitcoin have been trading sideways, we've been seeing a ton of action in the NFT space. If we take a look at this graph on Dune Analytics, we can see that the week to week trading volume in NFTs has been trending upwards for the entire month of December, which is 2x any single week that we had during the entire month of November. Now, many are speculating that we're going to have a great Q1 in 2023, as there are a ton of catalysts for NFT projects, as you can see in this tweet that I posted. We have plenty of things to look forward to, like the Blur token airdrop, the Nine Gags Captain's Mint, Yuga Labs' upcoming mint, Azuki's one-year anniversary, Chinese New Year, and a ton more. In NFT news, one of the biggest stories of the week was the announcement that Dust Labs' main collection, D Gods, is going to be moving from Solana over to Ethereum, and their sister collection, U is going to be moving over to Polygon. Now, of course, there were some mixed reactions on Twitter as some people do feel they are abandoning the Solana ecosystem, which did see a crash after this announcement. However, Frank has said that he felt the D-Gods collection capped on Solana and they felt like they did not have the room to grow that they needed. Now, although they have not publicly announced any specific amount, a D-Gods representative has confirmed that Polygon is paying for this move and that the migration is gonna be happening sometime in Q1 of 2023. In more NFT news, the NFT collection Nouns will be appearing in the 2023 Rose Bowl Parade during the pre-bowl festivities. A Nouns NFT float alongside six costume characters will be featured in the parade happening in California after a proposal was made to the Nouns community by Stupid Buddy Studios, which is co-founded by Seth Green. The proposal was approved by the Nouns DAO, which is a decentralized autonomous organization where voting rights are allocated based on token ownership, which in this case are Nouns NFTs, which are auctioned every single day through their website. Now, Nouns was previously featured in a Super Bowl commercial in February of 2022 after they donated an NFT to Bud Light. Next, in global news, according to this article in China Daily, China will be launching its very own NFT marketplace, which they are calling Digital Collectibles. Now, the government backed platform will allow users to trade digital assets such as collectibles, copyrights, and property rights. The unveiling of the platform is due in a couple of days on January 1st and will be paired with a ceremony celebrated in Beijing. In more global news, Japan may reverse its previous ban on foreign issued stable coins such as USDC and USDT, allowing domestic distributors to handle foreign issued currencies as long as they maintain sufficient collateral. These new guidelines will be implemented in conjunction with the revised Payment Services Act, which will come into effect in 2023. Next up in brand news, BMW will be utilizing the Binance Smart Chain and partnering with CoinWeb, a cross-chain computation platform. Now, although this isn't the car manufacturer's first dabble in blockchain, they will be integrating it in two phases. The first phase is for their daily operations with the goal of automating time-consuming manual processes and streamlining financial services. The second phase will... That means I wanna go down now. The second phase will be a customer loyalty program rolling out in Thailand, where customers will be able to use these rewards towards services and goods. Next up, investment giant Fidelity, who manages upwards of $4.5 trillion of assets, have filed for three new trademark applications covering products and services offered in the metaverse. Now, these include referral services for investment advice and financial planning in the metaverse, virtual real estate investing, crypto trading and exchange services, as well as mutual funds and retirement fund investing services in the metaverse. So it does appear that Fidelity is eyeing educational services such as classes, seminars, workshops, all around investments in virtual worlds. Next in fundraising news, the NFT project Utopia Avatars has just announced their whopping $10 million raise led by Asterius VC. The Utopia Avatar NFT collection consists of 3V avatars and is set to launch in early Q1, where holders will get both in real life and virtual benefits. Benefits. Finally, Midnight has just announced a $7.5 million seed round to build a Web3 gaming studio. Now, the studio will be focused on PC and mobile gaming. However, they are open to doing mobile gaming down the line. 
The Web3 Gaming Studio includes team members such as Chris Heatherly, who has previously worked for Disney Mobile Games and has helped build brands such as Disney, Pixar, Marvel, Star Wars, and Jurassic World, as well as Joffrey Hunt, who has worked on games such as Star Trek Fleet Command and Game of War Fire Age. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button. I drop these videos every single Friday. If you like that, would you kindly hit the subscribe button, smash that bell notification. Thanks for watching you Crypto Gorilla. Peace.